To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Now, I know I'm not known for talking about Disney television shows, but just this once, humor me. Out there being broadcast right now over the television waves is a Disney TV show I think everybody should give a watch. Now, if you look really closely here at my top 10 Disney movies list, you'll see Tangled comes in at number three, but coming in at number one on my top 10 favorite TV shows list, oh yeah. It's number one. Now, if you have not seen the Tangled TV show yet, I don't blame you. Disney doesn't go out of their way to advertise it a lot, but let me tell you that it is the best TV show on television right now, easily. Now, you're probably saying, well, I've heard about it, I've seen it around, I've seen it playing on the TV here and there a few times, I never really sat down to watch it. Well, this video is to convince you to sit down and watch it. If you don't have cable, you know, watch this video too. Stick around. I got reasons for you too. I got things for you to watch in this video as well. Wreck-It Ralph and Frozen are the Walt Disney Animation Studios 52nd and 53rd animated film respectively. Tangled is Walt Disney Animation Studios 50th animated film. Frozen and Wreck-It Ralph will both be getting full-fledged theatrical sequels. Tangled, not so much. So Disney asked themselves a very important question. How do we give the fans of Tangled more Tangled without making a full-fledged theatrical sequel? Make it a TV show. This move reminds me of the good old days when there was a Little Mermaid TV show, a Hercules TV show, an Aladdin TV show, a Tarzan TV show. If you were a Disney Renaissance film, there was a 50% chance that your movie would get an animated TV show spinoff. And that is just true facts. Five of the ten Disney Renaissance movies did actually get spinoff TV shows. You see, in the grand Walt Disney Animation Studios timeline that has been confirmed by the company to be canon, Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure slash Tangled the Series takes place after Tangled, but before Frozen, but before Tangled ever after happens, so after the movie, but before the short, but before the other movie that takes place in the same universe as the movie. I hope you're keeping up. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, I, I can't watch this show offhand Disney. I'm a 20-year-old man. That would look super weird, and guess what? So am I, and uh, it doesn't, all right? We are not the demographic, but that doesn't mean it's not a great show. Now, if you need reasons to watch it, I completely understand. Reason number one, Alan Menken returns to do the music for the TV show. That's right, the Alan Menken, the person who wrote the music for all of the great Disney Renaissance films, and of course the movie version of Tangled. Alan Menken is of course a Disney legend, and you would not be doing your job as a Disney fan to not watch and consume everything that every Disney legend has ever made, because that's what true Disney fans do, right? Is that, is that what we do? All day? Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi return as their characters from the movie, and I must say that I'm glad it's like this, because if it was any other voice actors, I would not be able to watch the show and feel good about it, because it just wouldn't feel genuine, you know? And I'll just take a moment here to talk about Zachary Levi. If you watched his Instagram live stream last year from D23, you know he's a massive Disney fan just like you and me, so Zachary, I know you're watching this, big fan. The animation is superb, it doesn't feel cheap at all, it feels like it's either drawn by somebody, hand drawn, or someone cut out these characters out of paper, put them on the backdrop, and took a picture of them, then moved them slightly, sort of like the old days of animation. Not sure if that's what they were going for, but I think it looks really good. It looks very stylized, and it fits the feeling of the show really well. Now, they have also made a spin-off sequel TV show of sorts for Big Hero 6, but I have not watched that one yet because Big Hero 6 as a movie didn't have as much of an impact on me as these more classical-feeling Disney movies, specifically Tarzan, Tangled, and Sleeping Beauty, my top three. Now, of course, not every TV show is perfect. The Tangled show has a few problems. Mainly, in season one, there were a lot, and boy, do I... I mean a lot of filler episodes, and even though these filler episodes did introduce characters that would come to be recurring characters later on in the show, it just felt to me like they were wasting time in between the big episodes that contain a lot of the main story, and the smaller episodes that help develop the world around the main characters, like the Kingdom of Corona and the people who live in it and how everybody has a unique personality, but personally, I prefer the main story. Now we are currently only one episode into season two, but it's been really good so far, so hopefully they can keep their footing and continue to grow and improve. Another thing is because this is an action adventure, romance, mystery, drama TV show aimed at younger audiences, there are fight scenes, but they're not really done very well. They seem kind of awkward and clunky. There were a couple of character interactions in season one that don't feel like they were done very well. The dialogue is a little choppy and a little awkward, just like the fight scenes. But other than that, I really can't find a massive fault 
with this TV show. And trust me, guys, I'm not being paid by Disney. I try, I'm not getting that Disney money. Trust me. The best way to describe this movie is extra content for the movie. If you enjoyed the Tangled movie, odds are you're going to enjoy the Tangled TV show because it's a lot of the creative people who are behind the movie working on the TV show. If you want more content from the Tangled world, you get it with the TV show. Like I said earlier, if you're a 20-year-old man and you don't really want to watch the TV show because you feel like it's aimed at younger kids, just think of watching the TV show as an extension of watching the movie. Now, of course, the movie wasn't marketed towards 20-year-old men, but odds are you'd be able to find enjoyment in the TV show because it's the same tone and the same quality as the movie. It just happens to be on television instead of in a theater. So if you were ashamed to go see Tangled in the theater and you did not like it, probably sit this one out. But if you did enjoy it, just give it a try. Just give it a quick watch when you can and let me know what you think. Actually, how about all of us do that? Let's make that a challenge. The hashtag Tangled series challenge. If you're watching this right now, go watch season one of Tangled the series and let me know what you think in the comments of this video or on Twitter, anywhere you can get a hold of me. I would really like to hear what you guys have to say about it. Maybe, just maybe, I'll follow this video up with a part two and read your comments and descriptions and reviews and give my thoughts on them and we can all talk about the show together, maybe make it a thing. Now of course I know all of you are clamoring to hear my opinions and thoughts on Pixar Pier that opened up late last week. And don't worry, I got a video on Pixar Pier coming later this week, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, those are my opinions on a young adult's television show that nobody probably cares about, but ones I just wanted to put out there and raise awareness for this amazing TV show that I don't think is getting enough love recently. Remember that you can follow me on Twitter if you want some more updates regarding the channel or regarding when I will be in the parks or what I'm doing in the parks. You can also donate on Patreon. Patreon perks are back, so I will let you guys get early access to audio for these episodes. If you are a Patreon patron, you probably got access to this audio a couple days ago or yesterday, depending on how lazy I am. Also, please keep in mind that there is a brand new offhand Disney Discord, well, new and improved under new management offhand Disney Discord, so if you want to go talk about some offhand Disney fun facts or trivia or just Disney parks in general, head over there. I will have the link for that in the description below. And last but certainly not least, please remember that I have offhand Disney merch available at my Spreadshirt store. I'm going to be working on adding some new designs very soon, so if you want some new designs for the shirts, just stay tuned. I'll talk about those in my video, but if you like the designs that are there right now, go ahead and pick one up if you feel so inclined because it really helps me out, helps me get into the parks more often, and it's all thanks to you. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this rambling video. I know I ramble in a lot of my videos, but this one was definitely, definitely more rambly than the other videos that I put out, so thank you for sitting through that. Thank you for indulging me, and thank you, of course, for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.